December, when Radcliffe police were called to perform a welfare check at a home in the Yarwood Mobile Home Park, they discovered a filthy home that didn't even have a working refrigerator. Two children were living there. One did not appear to be in bad shape, but there was a very hungry and dirty six-year-old little girl. This child um, talked about not being able to have meals. Uh, the, the dinner she had the night before social services came in was, was Cheetos. Hardin County Assistant Commonwealth's Attorney Teresa Logsdon says social services was called after officers noticed extreme bruising covering her little body. The child's stepfather, Zachary Dukes, and her mother, Brittany Moore, were arrested. Dukes later admitted to beating her daily with a switch, but never gave a reason. He accepted a plea deal Tuesday. Dukes was sentenced here in Hardin County almost three months to the date after his arrest. He received seven years on that abuse charge and another year for a drug charge he had picked up while behind bars. In the end, he received an eight-year sentence. The max he could have received at trial would have been 10 years. So to, to save that child from having to go through a trial just to try to get the maximum, um, I, I was very happy with this particular result. As part of his plea deal, Dukes will testify against Moore, who is being charged with complicity to abuse. Because police say she stood by and did nothing as her child was subjected to daily beatings. The social worker told the court she'd never worked a more heart-wrenching case. That little girl is now in the care of the state. Hopefully, um, as the years go on, that she will get the, the treatment that she needs to get past this. And while Dukes received an eight-year sentence, he will be eligible for parole after serving just 20% of that sentence. As for Moore, she is bonded out of jail and is set to return to court May 8th. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.